Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, May 12th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through the basics of how to get started working with the Facebook connection that I've been developing. A couple of people have ran into problems and I understand what those problems are now. I'll point those out as I go along. First thing you need to do is set up an application. So you go to the Facebook developers page, hit this button, and you set up some application. Once you do that, you'll have your application defined, and if you go to this basic page, you'll get the information you really need, like the application ID, the secret ID, and the API key. I'm not going to expose those for this application, but this is an important point. If you're testing, you really need to go to this advanced tab here and select desktop, because otherwise, most of the API points won't work from the desktop unless you tell it to be a desktop application. Once you're finished, if you want to deploy this as a web app, you merely go here and reset this before you deploy it to some website. But if you want to do it this way, you really need to set desktop in order to screw around with this. Once you've done all of that and you have your keys, what you do is you load in the Facebook stuff. So let's go to Store, Connect to Repository, and we'll select the Syncom Smalltalk one, Connect, and we'll go to Published Items. And then once we've done that, we'll select Facebook, select this bundle, get the latest version. Now I've deployed this this morning because it turns out that I had been doing all of my development in a bottom feeder development image or a 7.7 image, in which case there was an override that's necessary in 7.6 that isn't necessary in either of those cases. So I'm going to load this and point that out in a moment. So let's go ahead and load. If you get this, any problems you had with previous versions of this won't pop up. Now you want to select JSON Reader here and load that. And then at that point it should complete by loading in all the rest of the prerequisites. Now once that comes in, the thing you need to do is you need to create this holder. Again, you have to specify these pieces of information somewhere above here, like up here above in my workspace. I've got those defined to a couple of variables. So now with that done, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then at this point, I'm going to log in. So I can create a connection object, and then I'm going to log in. And what this will do is it'll have a browser pop up, and if you're not logged into Facebook already, it will prompt you to log in. And at that point, you're ready to begin work. Now let me point out the one small thing that you may have run into if you didn't have this latest version that I just published. That's down here in the Connect. I've got a new override and header field, this method parse. You were running into a problem where when it did a parse, it ran into an HTTP only field that it didn't know what to do with it. And what I've done here is added this error handling. If you're in a newer version of VisualWorks like 7.7 or Object Studio 8.2, or you're in a development image like I've been in, Bottom Feeder, where I had already fixed this problem for Bottom Feeder, then you're not going to run into this. But if you're starting from scratch, you probably would have. So that's the fix I've added. Now at this point, you can now go ahead and do interesting things. Once you've logged in, you need to get an authorization token. So you get a session. And now if I go ahead and inspect this, you'll see that I have a connection. I have the session object. So if I go down here to the session object, I can find out things like when my session expires. I have my key, my secret key, and my UID. All of that information is cached. And at this point, I can now do things like this. connection. Friends get full details, do an inspect on that, and it should come back with a bunch of friends objects and all of these details filled in. So at this point, you should be able to move forward with this if you want to play with it, and I would appreciate any help anybody can give me because there's a lot of API points to be added to this still. So if you want to work on this, you want to extend this, I'd be more than happy to accept the help. You can go straight to my blog, hit the chat back widget, and talk to me that way, or come to the IRC channel, the Smalltalk one. You can find that at syncomsmalltalk.com slash syncomsmalltalkwiki slash IRC. That's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.